What is going on everybody? It is Fitzmiller, Ryan, and the Laurel back here with another video. Today, we're gonna see if this thing needs a timing belt. Now, before this car was sold to Ryan, it was stated that it was done, quote unquote, recently. And that's where we're at. So, on most Japanese cars, they like to keep documentation of what they do. Mm -hmm. That's why you see like all these marks and stuff like that. Like yellow means it, it was replaced and it was good. And then like red is kind of kind of weird. Sometimes keep an it eye means out for it or something. like it, it needs to be replaced or it's due for replacement mm -hmm. soon or it just doesn't need anything at all. This right here says this is the timing belt i translated this it's the timing belt exchange and it says 21 in the year slot four in the month slot and 16 in the day slot so i was like okay april 16th 2021 that's what i was thinking but i wanted to make sure it also says it's the mileage of the car the kilometers mm -hmm. when it was done 103,000 kilometers which would make sense because my odometer when it was manual swap stopped at 130,000 kilometers yeah so it makes sense kind of that it was done in 2021 before it was sold, but I sent the picture to my agent in Japan, Lucas, at Team Free Spirit, and he gave me the knowledge that the 21 is actually the Japanese year 21, which equals to the American year of 2009. That's wild. Yeah, so right now we're in the Japanese year of like 44, I think. If there's a timing belt from 2000, what, 2009? 2009, April 16th, 2009. If there's a timing belt in here from 2009, it is a miracle and a half that it has not just shattered. But that's what we're trying to figure out today. We're gonna take this little cover off, this top piece, and inspect the belt, starting with taking off the cast, the cam angle sensor. Uh, we, angles. This is really the only touchy part of doing this. There, there's a little mechanism that goes inside. That's the actual sensor thing. It spins and you really want to make sure that you don't spin it from where it was originally sitting when you yeah. take it out because that'll mess with the timings. I don't even want to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> the motor would think it's out of timing Yes, and would so, run differently. You also want to hey, see how it has these little slider things right here yeah. where you can slide it. See how it's marked? Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. gonna have we're gonna we're gonna need to put this and line this up exactly back to where it was to where it was marked for it to actually run properly. This is only three bolts. There should be eight millimeters. It's one on the bottom and then the two on the top. And then there's five on this actual cover. I think like three of them are mm -hmm. Allens and then the other two are just regular eight bolts. Mils. Yeah. Let's get Bracken. Yeah. First, Ryan is starting by undoing the electrical connection to the sensor. I don't know how. <laughs> it should just kind of pinch and come out, but. Yeah, I don't. It's always, it's always should. Never know. Never know. I don't know where to like pinch it at. Just don't lose that, Ryan. So, if you guys can see that tiny little metal wire right there. Little, little metal bracket thing. That is holding on our electrical connection. I don't know what you would call it, but I've yeah. messed with many. I just, Unfortunately, I guess it would just be called like a bracket. Okay. Nice. Don't f this up. Do not f <laughs> this up because that is also something that's annoying if you do f it up. Very, put very. Yeah, yeah. Put a magnet all over it. Okay. Where'd that little metal piece go? It's oh, it's still on there. It just snaps back in place. Now we get to the big boy. Taking off the a, big John. I need an eight milli. A milli, a milli, a milli. So these are supposed to be a little eight mil, but it turns out the ones on here are 10 mil. Hopefully just a sign that it's been replaced or kept up with. He's just being if, very careful. If you fuck this up or just like manipulate it wrong in any way, see how it's lined up like this? Motor would act like it's out Isn't of timing. Isn't that the timing right there? You gotta twist it? Huh? Now this, this is What's the crankshaft, the crankshaft, uh, crankshaft. What's it called? Angle sensor. Shaft, angle sensor, yes. So the cam angle sensor. Yeah, basically, but it's... it's that's why I was confused right I'm glad I'm not <laughs> retarded, bro. I'm glad I'm not... Okay. So that's the cam angle, like it's just... Measuring. The cost. Cast. Yeah. Cost. <laughs> I'm gonna the Lacoste. <laughs> now that the three bolts are out, we have to kind of pry, work our way around the sensor and have it pop out here. Once again, be very careful if you guys are doing this. Whoa. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that to you. Okay. Here it is. As you can see. All right. Yep. Looks like a sensor to me. <laughs> you want to get a little get in there. That's the uh, mm. yeah, cam gear. Very nice. Cam yeah, gear. yeah, cam. Yeah. Okay. Put this. 
try to yeah i didn't erase any of the white <laughs> okay cool cool very nice nice and safe that was a scary part now we get to f with actually just the easy part which is just taking, taking off, off this cover this plastic cover nice you're doing good <laughs> get out of the way dog i don't want to f you up man I don't know where to put yeah, it. bro. You don't know how you're messing with, bro. Just want to make sure I'm actually gonna be able to get the ratchet off. The baby's in there. I'm gonna just use the socket. Remember when I was talking, I was talking about the uh, the ratchet that you don't gotta hold the socket. Oh, oh the Japanese ones. Yeah, for the really oh. fine Japanese ones. It'd be nice right now. Yeah. Squirrels. All the way in here. <laughs> Interesting. Bomb South Korea. Not South Korea, North Korea. That's another bleep. Don't do it to me, dog. Here's the last 15 16th bolt, or 5 16th, sorry. Now on to the little Allen keys, which, how many are there? Like two yeah. at the top of it. Number one and number two. I don't want to break my car. Okay, let's move it. We should have done this 20 minutes ago because Ryan was wedged in between the car and the wall. I just know this is a long ass Allen. <laughs> it was coming out the back. Has to be, I guess. Oh. <laughs> nice. Dude, yeah, that's a, that's a beefy boy right there. Okay, moment of truth. Dude, I was just thinking that. Are you I excited? Are you nervous? Hundreds of dollars. Well, if it, I just spent hundreds of dollars. If it makes you feel any better, I recently tried to order a timing belt, water pump, and new pulley, and uh, they didn't have them in stock. I actually got to check on that order. I ordered it from Raw Brokerage. I mean, it doesn't look too sauce to me. I just don't know how old it is. Is there any cracks in it? I'm not seeing any cracks, man. I see the ridges from where the, the gears hit it, but I don't see any crazy signs of wear. I see cracks. Where? Here. Just old dry rot cracks. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we're probably getting ready to send a picture to Stockton or somebody and see what they think of this belt, see whether it's detrimentally gone or if it's okay. It's not detrimental, but it definitely needs to be done. Yeah, fingers crossed. Dry roadage right there, cracks. So I did just check and Raw Brokerage did so kindly refund me for my order since they didn't have any of this in stock, even though they said it was at the time of order. But Ryan, hmm. they have stuff uh, you can order. Is it OEM? It yeah. Is OEM. yeah, it is. What is that? It's the tensioners, and the belt, and the water pump? Yep. Yeah, I should probably do the water pump too. I would. I need to myself. <laughs> Mine leaks a little bit. All right, man, what's the verdict? So, the belt. Belt. Definitely worn. I wouldn't say 13 years old worn. It would probably have a lot more cracks than it does, but it's definitely a little dry rotted and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely time to replace it. Probably is just smart to go ahead and knock it out. Ryan said he was gonna be free to drive it as long as he doesn't beat on it or take it on any crazy yeah. road trips or anything like that. But as far as moving around, you know, taking it out every now and then, there's not a problem with that. So I'm scared to do that though. So. That's where we're at. Gonna put it back together and uh, call it. Call it for the night. So we checked it, car needed a little timing belt. Then the very next night we went back to Danny's and started taking everything apart to have it ready for the new belt to go back in. Had to take out the radiator, had to move the fan, the fan shroud, all that stuff. And then at the very end, after two AutoZone trips, when we were trying to take off the harmonic balancer, it chipped. 
So now, not only does this car need a timing belt, but he needs to find a new harmonic balancer. That's where we're gonna call it. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next one.